What's good, everyone? Welcome back to some of the pack. My name's Jake, and I have another box of Corset 2020. Now, the official release date is this coming Friday. I picked up a couple boxes from my uh, from my LGS uh, pre-release weekend. Super excited! I got my first box opened. It was okay. Nothing great. No Chandra. No Leyline of the Void. Uh, still looking for a, a Soren as well. But let's get cracking into this box and see what we get. Wizards has been pumping out sets like crazy. We had War of the Spark, seemed to be a big hit. I loved opening it, super fun set. And then Modern Horizons, which as you guys know, I'm a huge, huge fan of. I think the set has a ton of potential. Some really powerful and unique cards in that set. And now Core 2020, same thing. This set is very, very strong, especially for a core set. Ooh, and starting out with a Veil of Summer. I mean, uncommon. Oh, and a bag of holding. That's pretty cool. A little D and D recognition there. Yes, this set has been. Quite impressive. I think. Ooh, Cavalry of Thorns, our first mythic. Very nice. Yeah, I've been really impressed with this set. I think uh, the new Chandra is is great. Soren, I think, has a ton of potential. Um, potentially, not n right now necessarily, but you know, it's one of those that, like Leyline of Abundance, nice. Girl Invitation, this foil. It's one of those that it kind of backs wizards into a corner like they they if they print any sort of vampire that's really powerful that's kind of jacked up there is that cool if they put print any sort of vampire that has is super powerful that could uh bust soren wide open knight of the evan legion whoa what's happening Bones, Wakeroot Elemental, that last token sorted itself, that was pretty handy, Thunderkin Awakener, this is interesting, it's a pretty sweet elemental creature, Cost two, uh, a colorless and a red. It's one, two, haste. Whenever the Thunderkin Awakener attacks, choose target elemental creature in your graveyard with toughness less than Thunderkin Awakener's toughness. Return that card to the battlefield tapped and attacking, sacrifice to begin the next end step. So there are, I think it was Flame, uh, hmm. Actually, I can't remember what it is. It was a Lorwyn print originally, but it lets you tutor for elementals. That could be interesting as a little fun, uh, brew, tribal brew. Dread Presence, and Rabid Bite Foil. I hope you all got uh, got to get in some pre-release seals or drafts or whatever your LGS did. Gorgos. Um, I wasn't able, unfortunately, to make any pre-release events. My folks were visiting my wife and my son and I over the weekend. Another dread presence. Oh, that's not great. And Agent of Treachery. Well, I got got by this real bad in Arena the other day. I laid the, uh, I can't even think of the name, but it's the 7-7 seven, seven Flying Lifelink. I tapped four, four creatures with flying and paid a white to play it. And then it got Agent, Agent of Treachery. Oh, Cavalier of Flame. A second mythic. And an Anvil Rot Raptor. Hmm, I wonder... 
so we've gotten two Cavaliers. I wonder if this is going to be like a War of the Spark type deal where you get like, if your Mythic's a, a Cavalier, if you just get like, if there's like Cavalier boxes. Wow, that's, uh, that's what I was just talking about, actually. Kind of cool. Villas, Broker of Blood. Oh, a Temple of Triumph. All right. It's the first temple. And a Lavakin Brawler foil. The last box I had 13, 13 foils, three foil rares. So it was a pretty good box. Like I said, I didn't get the Chandra or uh, Leyline of the Void or Soren, but um, it was still a pretty good box overall, I think. 15 Ceratops. Ooh, and a Diviner's Lockbox foil. I wonder if there's room for Marauding Raptor in some sort of Eldrazi. Red something, probably red green Eldrazi deck. Maybe we line of anticipation, alright. And Grand Aegis for Again, Yark Fenlurker. We're getting lots of duplicates in this. Lots of duplicates in this box. Repeated reverberation. Ugh. Now we're already like halfway through. No foil rare. Only two mythics so far. Oh, well, there's a Uncommon Chandra. Field of the Dead. The Legion's End. Oh, and this token is like... This picks up. Yeah, doesn't really matter, but it's weird. I've, I've been noticing quite a few cards, like straight out of the pack, are like bent or dinged. Not great. Shared summons and a fortress crab foil. So eight foils, two mythics, no foil rare. Hmm. This last, so this second half of this box better be fire. Drawn from Dreams. This is an interesting card. Actually really good and limited. Look at the top seven. Put two, oh wow, this one's all jacked up too. You guys see that? Ugh. Yeah, look at the top seven. Put two of them into your hand. The rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Kind of cool. To sorcery though, so that kind of sucks. Kind of have to play like a Teferi or something with it. Ooh, Colossus Hammer, nice. It's one of the good, one of the good uncommons. It'll be interesting to see how the set plays out long term in terms of value, given Bishop of Wings, uh, given how it's kind of like. Coming on the heels of War of the Spark, Modern Horizons. It's, I mean, summer's always a downtime for magic. The uh, sets get opened less. Mar another Marauding Raptor? What? That's like our third or fourth duplicate. Alright, let's see here. 
Way more than sanctity. Okay, that's good. That's good. Take that. Yeah, it, it could be that this is like every other core set and just not a lot of it is opened and then um, you know, less less cards in the in the world. Ooh, Dread Presence, Zephyr Charge Foil. Uh, less supply and then, you know, that forces that forces the values to to creep up. Ooh, there we go. Nice. Nice. Soren Imperious Bloodlord. Sick. I like it. That's awesome. Nice. All right, now we just need that Chandra. That Chandra Awake Inferno. Inferno. Oop. Well, well spoiler alert. Got Lotus Field. That's great. Didn't get... Ooh, and there's our first... Foil rare. Didn't get a Lotus Field in my first box, so that's pretty exciting. I love lands that do broken things. Uh, Light of the Evan Legion foil. That's kind of cool. Not the vampire we were looking for with Soren, but the vampire, I guess. Brought back. It's not the one that could be interesting. Temple of Silence. It's only our second temple, too. Boy, this box has been not great. Only four packs left. One foil rare. Huh. Night Pack Ambusher. This card is super good and limited. 4-4 four, four for 4. Flash. Other wolves and werewolves you control get plus 1, plus 1 at the beginning of your next of your end step, if you didn't cast a spell this turn, create a 2-2. Two, two. So really when you play this, you don't even have to play. So ideally you kind of like trick it into play on your opponent's turn, kill one of their creatures. It's your turn. What I've been doing is just not playing a card the first turn he's in play, getting the 2-2 two, two out of it for the value, saving the card. There's a bright word tracker foil. Uh, and just, you know, getting the 2-2 two, two out of it because it's essentially like a free card. Now, depending if you're super behind, maybe you have to run out, you know, uh, a card or two from your hand to kind of catch up. But if you're ahead, oh, it's it's real good. It's even better. Rapacious Dragon Foil. Man, two packs left. This box has not been great. Mm. And this what dread presence again? Hanged executioner is our second foil rare. Not a great one. Before we get to this last pack, hold on. Dread presence, dread presence. And I thought there, yeah, three dread presence. And one of them looks like. Timmy's dog ate it. What is this? Yuck. All right, guys, last pack. Thanks for checking out the video. I will be posting, I have uh, some more boxes of this coming. Um, hopefully it'll be here on Friday. Ooh, an Omnath. Close with a, with a mythic. Still no Chandra. But thanks for checking out the video. Hope you check out my other M20 opening, and I just posted an Ultimate Masters uh, opening as well, so check that out. If you like what you saw, it's a huge help if you like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much, and until the next one, bye bye